April 27, 1906. Trouble between union and non-union iron workers has broken out at the Glenwood powerhouse of the New York Central Railroad near Yonkers, and two workmen have been severely handled by men said to represent the union element. Yesterday, in the noon hour, two of the non-union workers were set upon just south of the Glenwood station and badly beaten by a gang of eight or nine men. February 15, 1912. Superintendent Wheel of the New York Central Power Station at Glenwood Yonkers heard the cries of a man in distress last night and ran out of the building, which is on the banks of the Hudson, and found that the cries were coming from the river. Through the darkness, he got a glimpse of a man on a cake of ice who was waving his hands and shouting, Save me! Save me! The man was too far from shore to be reached with a rope. Wheel believes he was drowned. January 20th, 1929. A diver lost a grueling battle yesterday in the icy depths of the Hudson River off Yonkers to rescue a workman who pinned underneath a heavy concrete bucket plunged to the river bottom near him. The diver, Gallon Potter of Staten Island, was working on the piles of a dock at the Glenwood Powerhouse of the New York Central Railroad Attracted by a shapeless mass that left a trail of bubbles as it shot downward, Potter saw the inert body of Hans Nelson pinned in the concrete bucket. Nelson, a carpenter, had been knocked off the dock when a hand car conveying the bucket derailed and overturned. The bucket landed on top of him and then carried him into the water. Other workmen stood on the dock transfixed and staring helpless down into the water, at the bottom of which the diver was struggling frantically to free Nelson from the heavy bucket. Exactly three minutes after the derailing of the hand car, Potter emerged from the river, climbing up a dock ladder with Nelson's body slung over his shoulder. Nelson was dead. July 2010. A town hall meeting sponsored by Yonkers City Councilwoman Patricia McDowell was called to discuss the Glenwood Power Station, labeled as the Gates of Hell by some. The sentiment that the Glenwood Power Station facility was representative of everything bad to our children, said Pastor Hazel, is a given. Quote, we want it torn down and rebuilt, close quote. He was referring to the alleged use of the Glenwood Power Station facility by young people from within Yonkers, Westchester County, and the Bronx who are gang members. Girls are said to have been raped as part of an initiation. Similarly, boys are alleged to have been whooped within an edge of their life to abide by the protocol demanded for their induction into a gang. It is said that there have been as many as 300 people who gathered at the gates of hell to partake in these rituals at any one time.